Espanielka, Wikipedia article audio. Espanielka was one of the largest publishing and printing enterprises of Greece. Founded in 1873 in Corfu by Gerasimus Espindus as a factory manufacturing playing cards under the name Elpis it eventually merged with the Eta Lithographias Kai Kai Shiapolius Athenon and finally became Espindielka. In business for over a century, Espindielka was the oldest company of its kind in Greece when it folded in 1997. During the post-World War II period Espindielka was one of the largest employers in the printing and publishing business in Greece up to 1985. In 1992 the company was sold by the National Bank of Greece to Jean-Jacques Lesueur and in October 1997 it was declared bankrupt. In 1873, Gerasimus Espindus founded a playing card factory in Corfu under the name Elpis. In 1884, Espindus secured a contract with the government of Chirileos Triklopis as the sole manufacturer of playing cards for Greece. The cards were designed by Gerasimus Espindus' father Nikolaos Espindus who was a painter. In 1902 Constantinos Espindus, son of Gerasimus, became the director of the company. Under the directorship of Constantinos Espindus the company product line expanded to include the printing of bonds, shares, advertisements, tickets and other similar products. After the Balkan Wars and the subsequent expansion of Greek lands, the company increased its market share in an expanded internal market. Sales of its popular playing cards increased significantly and so did the company profits. In 1935 Liakos Iliopoulos became the director of the company and presided over further expansion which lasted until 1940. On October 28, 1940, the starting date of the Greco-Italian War, the Italian Air Force bombed and destroyed the Espinity Elka factory in Corfu. On that same day the Greek government, after a lengthy delay of many months, granted Espinity Elka permission to move its machinery and equipment from the Corfu factory to its Athens plant. The machinery moving permit came one day too late as the plant including the machinery now laid in ruins. The National Bank of Greece keeps a large collection of the company material assets which were manufactured or acquired throughout its history. The bank collection includes stamps, banknotes, advertisements, architectural drawings, financial and statistical tables, an extensive collection of old machinery and other items.